What's up guys, this is Nick with Talent Retriever and today I'm gonna be talking to you about crunch time. It's the beginning of November. We're a month into Q4, two months until the start of 2018. And for a lot of companies, that can be a bit nerve wracking. You still have numbers to reach, hiring goals to make, and this is the point in which you start thinking about next year's revenue goals and headcount. And to make things complicated, this is a period that's tied up with vacation, outside of work obligations, and overall distractions. All that being said, I'm gonna share with you what you can do to make sure you hit those Q4 hiring goals. Align your budget with your hiring. Any budget that you have left over for the end of the year should be first used to invest in ways that lift your bottom line. So before spending it only on things like lavish company outings and holiday parties, first look to invest in ways that actually affect you in the long term. Whether that's recruitment marketing efforts such as pay-per-click ads on LinkedIn and Google, or getting real creative in advertising in high traffic areas like the subway or local coffee shops. Or you can augment your needs with short-term full-service recruitment solutions that ramp up quickly and hit those goals fast. While those funny money things are certainly important and necessary for rewarding your hardworking team, maybe skip out on the limos and $100 bottles of champagne if you're serious about hitting those goals. Recruit recent grads. This isn't the first group that comes to mind when you think of entry-level talent, but up to one-third of college students graduate at the end of the fall semester. These young professionals are going to be home for the holidays in November and December, and they're going to get an abrupt look at what life looks like post-graduation, sitting in their old bedrooms with little to do other than having to answer their parents on the whereabouts. Yeah, they're going to want to join the workforce quickly and start the next step in their lives as soon as they can. This is an easy target to get excited about a new job. Think like a candidate. A lot of candidates have this perception that companies aren't hiring at this time of the year and it's better to wait until the start of January to begin their job search. But if you hit them with the right message at the right time, it can prove to be very effective. Here's some ideas on what to include in your messaging. An obvious one is why wait for that New Year's resolution? If you're going to be looking anyway, the longer you wait, the more competition there's going to be. So get ramped up before the start of the new year and start 2018 off with a huge bang. Let them know that holiday season equals excuse season. It's an easy time of the year for you to dip out of the office for a little bit for a phone interview or an in-person interview without having to make up these extravagant excuses. Come the start of Q1, you're expected to be locked in, refocused after the holidays, and it's a little bit more difficult to get out of the office. Talk about money. Q4 is when candidates give real consideration about their salary. They may be expecting an end of the year raise or promotion, and if they don't get it or if it's not what they expected, it may be the flip of the switch that they need to make a move. Or they may be waiting for their bonuses and payouts for the end of the year, and once they get that, then they're ready for their next opportunity. All right, guys, I hope this video has your wheels turning a bit. Although it's just the start of November, the holidays are coming up quick, and so is the end of the year, and that requires planning and strategizing. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I will talk to you guys soon.